Today I'm going to show you the new plugin from ON1, the SkySwap AI. You can use it as a standalone application or a plugin. Hi everyone, my name is Eddie. Welcome to my channel ON1 Photo Road Creative Photography. And today I'm going to talk about a new plugin, a new application from ON1. It's about the new ON1 SkySwap AI 2023. I'm going to show you the Swap Sky AI on this picture. Here, I use the application in standalone application, but of course, you can use it with Capture One, you can use it with Affinity Photo, Corel Pen Shop Pro, Photoshop, Lightroom Classic, etc., etc., etc. Of course, you have 231 skies available in the software. You have inside this sky 125 Ocudron sky in very high quality. I'm going to show you. Here you have the mask, of course. I can press the O key, as you can see. I can select the sky, maybe an Ocudron blue velvet, as you may see. I can select another one if I want, maybe this one, of course. And I can refine the sky just with this functionality on the Swap Sky AI. If I want to shift the horizon, I could do it if I want it. I can play with the opacity, of course. I can fade the edge, as you can see. Why not? I can shift the edges too, if I want. Maybe like this. And can modify the scale, just a bit like this. The level, as you can see. I can modify this. I can warm the white balance, or cool the white balance, of course. If I want to play with the brightness, I can do it all the same, of course. I can play with the haze to add haze or to remove haze, of course. You can blur the sky. If you want to do something like a long exposition, you can do it all the same. You can even play with a blur angle, as you can see, just like this. Of course, you have the ability to play with a foreground, just there. If you want to play with the lightning, you can add the lightning of the sky on the foreground, of course just a bit like this you can apply just there with a multiply mode or the screen mode of course you can refine the edge of course you can play with the distance as you can see you have a distance just there so you can apply it just a bit like this you can refine again the edge if you want you can change the color etc etc if you have some reflection in your picture you can play it of course with it we can change the color of the sky, of course, as you can see, and maybe play a little bit like this. You can play with the local adjustment, of course, if you want to play with some masking inside your picture. You can print your picture, export your picture. You have a lot of masking options. If you change a lot of time the skies in your picture, you can use this software. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.